Art Therapy in the Treatment of Addictions, a Major Research Project Proposal. Topic of Interest It is estimated that 21.6% of Canada's population meets the criteria for a substance use disorder. Addiction is a rising issue in Canada with many communities suffering from opioid epidemics. The trauma associated with addiction is pervasive, life-changing, and has a powerful capacity to shape an individual's development. In Ontario, it's estimated that approximately 10% of the population uses substances problematically, uh, which would mean resulting in significant harm. Recently, Ontario has seen this trend growing in relation to opioid use. Specifically, the opioid crisis is really impacting uh, smaller communities in Canada. They are seeing nearly twice as many opioid poisoning hospitalizations compared to major cities. As a response to this epidemic, mental health services related to addiction have been set up across Canada. This includes addictions counseling, mental health education, group hubs, and safe injection sites for harm reduction. Field of Inquiry In my major research project, I hope to address the opioid crisis in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Particularly, I'd like to explore how art therapy can be used in the treatment of addiction. There are many ways in which art therapy is effective is effective, such as helping clients externalize feelings in non-destructive ways, allowing clients to express repressed or unconscious emotions, and helping to empower clients. This research project is developed with the hope of exploring how this can be achieved specifically for clients dealing with the trauma associated with addiction. Statement of Problem While resources continue to develop across Canada to support those living with addictions, so much support is still required. Individuals living with addictions undergo multiple forms of trauma which impact them long term. It's also important to acknowledge that research states that people with a mental illness are twice as likely to have a substance use problem compared to the general population. Some individuals may be seeking support for harm reduction while using, while others may be hoping for rehabilitation. Other individuals as well may seek help after relapse. All parts of this cycle are valid stages of rehabilitation and recovery, and support can always be provided. It's essential to consider how treatment can be developed and innovated in order to help individuals. Art therapy might be a valuable option for individuals seeking treatment and support. Research question. How can art therapy be used in the treatment of people dealing with addiction? Also, in what ways can art therapy and mindfulness tools be brought into the treatment of addictions? How can art therapy be used to complement existing treatment for clients who are dealing with trauma and other issues related to substance use disorder and addictions? Methodology. A qualitative approach will be taken for this research project. For the population of people dealing with trauma related to addictions, the case study will be performed within the boundaries of CMHA's peer support group in Sault Ste. Marie while completing art therapy activities. The peer support programs are geared towards supporting those who are living with and recovering from addictions. The major project would be operated through a case study with arts-based research and interviews with participants and program administrators to help with triangulation. Interviews would be performed and art samples would be calculated before, during, and after the process of art therapy sessions. Arts-based research will be incorporated in order to present alternative perspectives, allowing those involved to explore issues of human experience, convey new meanings, bring awareness, and interpret the world around them. Visual interpretations by clients will add to their personal stories and accounts. Artwork by clients living with and recovering from addictions can provide imagery to further describe and explain their experience. Arts-based research with this population could also be used to empower clients and raise awareness about the issues faced by this population of individuals. In a broader sense, they could eventually be used as an educational tool for members of the population, as well as the wider community. These art pieces can be used to address an attempt to eliminate stigma around addictions and provide enlightenment on real human experiences. Relevance to Art Therapy Clinical Practice this major project hopes to identify how art therapy can be used in clinical work with clients dealing with addictions and their related trauma. If successful, the project could identify the specific directives and settings that clients and therapists alike would find most helpful and effective in their treatment. It also hopes to identify what makes a directive more or less effective and why clients may or may not engage with art therapy as a treatment method. The project is developed in the hopes of identifying the ways that art therapy helps clients as well. 
whether it is with processing and externalizing emotions, developing self-efficacy and empowerment, or simply as a setting to nurture feelings of relaxation, joy, and support. Thank you.